Hi my angel fairies, I hope you guys are having a beautiful, gorgeous, abundant day. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how I balance my creativity. Now you guys have been wanting me to do more art videos and here they are. I really hope you guys enjoy this video because it really was fun to create. I was really inspired to do this like amphibious piece because I was reading this manga yesterday and the hair that the subject had, like look at her she looks gorgeous so i was like you know what i'm going to create a piece based off her exactly with the same hairstyle and with the same head direction or like head position she didn't come out exactly as i wanted her to because whatever child you know whatever you have in your head it doesn't come out on paper correctly but nonetheless i still loved her and i had fun creating this piece and i'm going to talk more about it at the end of this video but for right now we're going to be discussing what this video is about which is how to balance your creativity now i have a very tough time with balancing out all the creative things that i like to do i'm a person who just put all their eggs in a basket and cannot even sort it out or organize it and that has been my downfall especially within my career i have so many ideas and projects i want to start but before i even started or you know get close to completing it i burn out and that's because i don't have a good organization type mm, what do you call it schedule schedule in order to make sure that yes i'm creative yes i'm getting stuff done but you know i'm making sense i'm being realistic so here are some tips and tricks i recommend for this so the first thing i do when it comes to my creativity is that i started to create a schedule now these tips that I'm about to tell you guys have been in the making for like a year. This is definitely trial and error. You have to allow yourself to experiment. So me personally, I love spirituality. I love art, artistry, and I love like doing makeup and beauty. I also love fashion, but you know, I'm, I'm calming down. And I always want my brand and I always want what I create to, and show to you guys to exude that. But of course, I can't do all of that at once, especially since you got to get on all social media platforms and make sure everything's fine and straight away. So the first thing I decided to do was to create a schedule. And with this schedule, I either take one week and make it all about art or take one week and make it all about spiritual content. Or I'll do one day really focused on what Every creative endeavor I want to exude and tap into that day. So say for instance, on Wednesdays, I make sure that day is set for like artistry and art shop things. Thursday is for like spiritual content. Monday is for like social media, beauty and stuff of that nature. So really creating a good split schedule has helped me immensely in organizing and making sure that I can tap into all of my creative endeavors without stressing myself out too much. Now, the next thing I really had to do, this is something I feel like all of creatives need to really tap into for sure because it's so hard to do this. Pace yourself. Do not try to do everything at once. That can be your downfall, bruh. Like, I have this place where, of course, I love quality over quantity, but I also love quantity. I be wanting to do, like, print packs, um, sitting out postcards, sending out like little gift boxes like i want to do so much but i'm literally only one person and i have to continuously remind myself of that because whenever i try to do a lot of things at once i end up failing burning out um and like not really upholding my end of the deal and just letting it go and saying okay well this is enough of that i can't do it anymore so one thing i really tapped into was discipline and saying okay i can do 10 at a time i can't do 50 50 sounds amazing but 10 is more realistic for me since i am one person and i don't want to overwork myself i want to make sure that this is still fun and enjoyable so 
I highly recommend you guys find a pacing that can help you kind of still enjoy your work, but also not feel like you're just engaging in capitalism all the fucking time, especially when it's a hobby. So another thing I highly recommend, and this is probably the last thing I recommend, is don't overthink it. Really allow yourself to have fun with trying to see what really works for you, how you can enjoy it. And what like creativity means to you. I think the one thing you should ask yourself when it comes to creating and finding that balance is what do I want out of my creativity? Do I want to have fun with it? Do I want to make money from it and also have fun with it? Do I just want to show people my world or show people my art? What do you want out of it? And then from there, you can kind of figure out how you can go with, you know, balancing it out, making sure that you always do each and every single one. And also ask yourself how important it is to you, like how important it is to paint every single day. And I used to do that. It used to be so fun and I used to enjoy it. But now I can't do that. I can't paint every single day. I have so many other hobbies and stuff I want to do. But yeah, I really hope these tips help and, you know, give you guys some inspiration. I do want to say that when I was watching this video back and I didn't do the voiceover, it was so peaceful. Like, I was like, damn, honestly, I don't even want to put a voice over this, but I did because you know y'all gonna hear me talk i don't care but i'm thinking of uploading this video without the voiceover on my memberships do let me know if it's something i want to do and if you do want to see this just become a member it'll be in like my i think it's on my channel so just go on my channel to see what it means to be a member but yeah now i'm just feeling finishing up the details i think my favorite part about this piece is her hair i like that i really like did that little scraping thing or like those little squares on her hair i was just having fun with this piece and allowing myself to flow and it was really fun not being so stagnant and rigid with what i was trying to do i realized that i'm better at mixing primary colors or like colors that are not skin tones instead of doing skin tone pieces and i'm more inspired to do monochromatic like color palettes so i realized that i just need to work harder on my skin tones um like dark skin light skin white caucasian skin so i can really enjoy it and be inspired by it because i was so inspired creating this piece and it's because her whole skin just has so much depth like the blues and the purples and the yellows i was like oh my god why can i not do this with my skin tones like why can i do that it's not that I'm bad at skin tones, but I know I can definitely be better. And since I'm learning how to do digital art, I have to tap into that because like my digital art is it's good, but it can be very much better. And it's the skin tone. I know it's the skin. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm super grateful that you guys stayed around to see it. I can't wait to bring you guys more artistry and do let me know in the comments below what other art videos you guys would like to see from me. I do have a lot planned, so do stay tuned. You guys are going to see more art videos. I know you missed her so, so, so much. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, my loves. Mwah.